In this video, I'm going to teach you all about Cover 3 Match, how it works, what you need to know about it, and how you can maximize this defense against pretty much any 2x2 two -two offense that you face. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that help you become a better Madden player. Today, we're going to be talking about the Cover 3 Match. You can find this in a lot of different playbooks, a lot of different formations, but the playbook we're in today, we're going to be talking out about the uh, San Francisco 49ers defensive playbook and then on um, in the nickel normal formation and I've got some audibles set here the two I really want to talk about and get to quickly here are the cover three buzz match and the cover three buzz match week uh, I really like these two coverages how they work and and also how they can kind of protect your user um, in these situations so really really pay attention to these two primarily we will also uh, though start with the regular cover three match and kind of explain how this works now this is best against two wide receiver by two wide receiver sets what I mean by that is a spread set or a double set um, because what we want the the cover three match rules really don't work very well against a set like tight slots because the bunch Right, or not bunch, but the compression can mess up the match. And then for whatever reason in Madden, the cover three buzz match doesn't always work very well against a true trip set. So something like this trips wide flex, for example, if you just leave, if unless they're motioning receivers over and creating two by two, this uh, defense does not work very well against these sets. So it's best when we're facing a two by two kind of concept if you will a spread formation a doubles formation also this is one of my favorite defenses for pro sets like i pro or even like i form slot very good coverage uh for that strong slot strong pro uh single back ace is a it's a great defense for that single back um any of the major single back stuff as long as it's not compression again compression it doesn't really work that good against compression but it's very good against spread sets um and so that's what we're going to kind of teach from here i'm going to come out of one of my favorite uh, formations spread wide slot so many good stuff, uh, so much good stuff in this formation. So, uh, what we're wanting, what we want to talk about here is why cover three match is so good against the sets. So the reason that it's so good is because it's a safer way to defend kind of your standard seams. So if I were, for example, to just call uh, four verticals, and let's say I put, you know, just four verticals, maybe two comebacks, right? Something like this. Okay. Um, the, the 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 zone the purple zone typically if you're just in standard cover three if you're in cover four drop if you're in tampa two sometimes some of those standard coverages if you're zone dropping out of mike blitz three for example these seam routes don't get jammed or rerouted and you can throw them pretty much at will against cover three because you've got two defenders on the slot and there's only one deep defender in that deep safety so when I defend out of cover three match, what I like to do first and foremost, I love to pr uh, bring this guy down into the box, okay? I really think it will help your match defense in this particular uh, point. Now, this is a very, very good look. It's a basically, it's a cover one blitz look, if you will. Um, and, and, and now what you're going to notice, I'm going to go back to that same route combination. But this time, what we're going to have is we're, you're going to notice here that I've got seam flats on the field. And what seam flats are going to do is they're going to play seam to flat, but out of a cover three match in particularly, the seam flats will match those routes if they run vertical. We've talked about this in some of my videos before that I've talked about with match defense. If you want to learn all about match defense, my Patreon is available for just 10 bucks a month. Literally gets you all my eBooks on match, on bunch, on trips. And I have 13 offensive and defensive eBooks you're going to get immediate access to just by signing up. So again, Patreon link is in the description if you want to go get all that content. But the point is match defense. We've talked about verticals. They match if they go vertical. What a vertical route is, is a corner, a crosser, a streak, a curl, a uh, corner, a post, right? All those are vertical routes. So watch what happens with Gronkowski whenever he runs a vertical. You're going to see that the seam flat will basically match him man to man and will cover him essentially like he's playing cover one, right? Essentially like he's playing man to man coverage on that player. So what we could do with this, though, is we could take this and we can start bagging some of the best 2x2 two -two concepts in the entire game. Let me give you an example of one. 
Deep attack is one of the best two by two concepts in the entire game. Especially you use like a whip there, and then maybe you take the back and do something, um, something real quick here. And again, this is just a very basic route combination, but I want you to watch how cover three matches just stock. Cover three match defends it. And you're gonna look at how this look, look at how this works. Look at the match defense play really, really, really well. Okay. Now the running back is obviously the number one thing that you gotta watch. The one thing you gotta watch no matter what defense you're playing, especially against two by two, is the running back wheels. Are always hard to guard but if you take a look at this the post route to Gronkowski you're gonna see right here that this just is gonna do a really good job at matching that post um, the seam flats basically no matter what route they're on they'll carry these slots so let me give you another example let's say I run um, the smash play okay and I'm trying to hit this corner run on the left side watch this seam flat carry it carry it and take it all the way outside now what was open on this was <coughs> excuse me what was open on this was of course the underneath slots um in that example but this is also why again i love to pinch or press and i'll show you this smash concept now and you'll see right here that that guy will actually hang on that that time as you saw so that's why i personally like to press my cover three kind of does it very similarly to the way the seahawks would play cover three where you had basically Meg on the outside and then you were kind of doing a, a box zone, if you will, on the two slots and really trying to take away the underneath like that. So um, anyways, the bottom line is that's kind of how it works. So let me give you another uh, popular route combination uh, from something like a two by two set. It might look something like this, for example. And I'm just gonna snap the ball. Again, I just want you to watch how the coverage plays. I'm not doing anything at all to it. And we're gonna talk about who to use her in just a second. But take a look here, match perfectly, slants match, posts is match. The concepts are really playing very, very well, okay? So what I like to do, and again, this is just traditional spread. So, and then let me do one last one, something like this, like a sale type play or like a true flood uh, of, the, of the spread to the wide side. Your seam flat will carry that corner. The hook curl comes down on the number three. And then as you see right there, that's a great candidate to use, and I'm gonna explain why. When we talk about cover three match, okay, the hook curls are kind of your wild card players in the way that the defense is going to work. And what I mean by that is the seam flats are really going to help significantly with the slots. The hook curl is only going to worry, is, is primarily concerned about the back. It's kind of a two on one on the back, if you will. Um, and what you're going to see here, and I'll give you a good example of this, but if, if I'm here, with this weak side hook curl. What I mean by weak side is the passing strength is to the right because there's three receiving threats on the right side of the center and two receiving threats on the left side. Now, if the running back goes to the corner or to the, to the flat on that side, so it looks like this, right? I am gonna open here, no, no, no drag. Okay, I can come back and help on this uh, dig route. So I'm looking for a drag, okay? If there's a drag, from right to left i'll take it just like if there's a drag from left to right he'll take it and i'll show you what i mean so let me go to something like a shallow uh kind of like a shallow cross concept something like this okay i'm here i just uh kyle duggar watch the hook curl see the seam flat goes under see how the seam flat passes him off so the seam flats are only concerned with vertical routes so if they're running underneath crossers those hook curls are going to receive them and then match them, carry them, and deliver them to whoever they need to. But remember, and this is why it's really, really important to understand how these hook curls work. Remember I said the seam flat will match vertical. So I want you to watch. Um, I think I might have messed something up here in my coverage. Let me, um, let me just reset my defense. Okay. So I want you to watch right here, and I want you to watch the, the slot. And I really want you to watch uh, the middle linebacker that's in the hook curl. So open here. See how you pass off? Now look, look, watch the hook curl. The hook curl's job is to carry that drag. And you see that we break that down. So that's something where you need to kind of pay a little bit of attention to as a user in the middle of the field. If there's these little drags and stuff that aren't getting matched appropriately, you might want to go ahead and uh, make an adjustment to that. Okay. Now, another little concept that is really, really popular is something like basically this. Uh, Gronkowski to the crosser, the back to the flat, we'll do a little whip, kind of like a Y cross type deal. Now, why I like to use the backside hook curl? Well, my slot doesn't go vertical, see, no vertical. So I can help poach here and here because 
the match is going to kind of take care of everything else. Remember, all I'm doing as a hook curl is I'm just receiving any kind of crossers, okay? Not necessarily deep crossers. We're talking like intermediate underneath stuff, okay? So why do I like the cover three buzz? Well, I like the cover three buzz for a lot of reasons, but it's because it's the same principle. So you're going to see right here, again, where's the passing strength of the formation? Well, the passing strength is to the left. So if I'm in cover three buzz match weak, what that means is this guy is the weak side safety in this example, and he's going to play into this area. If I was in cover three buzz, notice that it's going to be opposite. Okay? So I, the cool part of beauty, and the beauty of the defense, though, I still use with the same person. I still use with the same person. But with cover three buzz match weak, that's when the running back is going to be on the right side of the formation. And I'm over here, and my rules don't change whatsoever. And as you can see, the match just plays so good out of two by two. They stick to them like glue. They really do. Um, we talk about sometimes, you know, one of the best, one of the better route combinations here. And to illustrate this, I'm just going to go back to cover three buzz match week. The other thing I like about cover three buzz match week is it's a two high look, not a three high look. But anyways, watch this safety here, uh, or watch the match coverage on this post. That post is one of the best routes in the game. As you see, the match coverage or really guards it very, very well. Um, and the reason why is because of the fact that um, those seam flats are matching on two vertical routes, and they match them very, very well. So here you see. Now watch that drag. See how the hook curl takes that drag and swats that ball down. That's your job in this defense, literally. That's the main thing. So if the running back, let's say the running back goes underneath. So let's say you get a defense. So I'm going to cover three buzz match week. Let's say you're in a defense that looks like this, right? And the running back, instead of going to fly to the right, he's like, oh, he's coming over here. Okay, you take him, deliver him, and then move back. Okay? But that's basically all you're doing. Like, you're just kind of working the crossing, the, the little underneath stuff to you. Hook curls are receiving the underneath stuff to them because the seam flats are taking everything vertical, whether it be a corner, a cross, or any of that stuff, you have coverage. Now, I want to show you one last thing here, and that is this concept. Let's say you get something like this, okay? Well, both of the, the two routes on your side, because you got to remember your job, right? So in this example, it's kind of tricky because they should match and you should take this, but it doesn't feel like you should because you're used to trying to play crossers, especially out of Mike Blitz 3. Well, in this situation, again, your primary thing, you have to understand what your job is. Whenever you run match defense, I think it's so critical to understand truly what is your actual role. Well, on this defense, the way that it works, remember, if number two goes vertical, which Scotty Moore, if he goes vertical, that's not your responsibility, okay? But if, if you get a shallow crosser, like the running back or the slot on the right side or even the outside guy, you're here. Oh, there's a crosser. I got to take that. If there wasn't a crosser, you don't have to take that, and you can free, freely help on the in route. But you've got the crosser matched in this. And this is just a great way to defend crossers, corners, uh, skinny posts, stuff like that. Very good defense for this. Where this is weak, in my opinion, is you know some of those little drag routes. And that's where your user can really help make this a really good defense against 2x2. Two two. Probably my favorite defense, um, honestly, in the game against 2x2. Two two. It's very difficult to beat this coverage. Um, at least very difficult to beat it deep. And um, you're going to be having a lot of success with that. The biggest thing is understanding, again, I, I'm just going to stress that one more time here. But if you get, let's say you get this uh, shallow cross, so it looks something like this, okay? Let's say you get something like this, and you're in cover three buzz, okay? Well, in this situation, you open, oh, there's a drag, i got to take that. And you look, everything else is covered. We're right there able to make a swat or a tackle real quick. We just want to make thing make the opponent work with this defense. Very good for doing that. It forces them this defense again, especially against two by two, really forces them to take those underneath routes. Very difficult to bomb this coverage in specifically in spread. Um, is it is it easier to bomb it in bunch or tight or yeah? Because the match doesn't really work in those formations. It, it works some, but it doesn't work very often. So 
If you're going to master cover three, in my opinion, you need to start by learning how this works against two by two. Now, again, remember, if they motion into two by two, let's say they're in trips tight end and they motion receiver a lot, you can audible to cover three buzz match weak or cover three buzz. Now, the cool part about this, and just understand real quick, the way your rules change. So this is cover three buzz match. So now instead of the left side hook curl, I'm defending the right side hook curl. So if I get a drag, if I get a drag, to my right side, I have to guard it, but everything else is bagged, okay? So that's just something you have to kind of mentally understand. The hook curls are really the primary responsible party for defending the uh, running back wheel. So like in this example, if they're running a lot of running back wheels and your match just isn't doing that great against it, run something like this cover three buzz, and then you go to the running back, because you got everything else bagged, and then you're gonna force them to have to check down. So. Anyways, guys, I thought I'd do a video on Cover 3 Match. I want to learn more about it, and I'm study I've am been studying a lot of books about it. There's a lot more to unpack, but for right now, today, this is a very brief overview, basic understanding of how Cover 3 Match works. If you want to learn more about this, please join my Patreon. You won't regret it. You get access to everything, all my match stuff, all my air raid spread stuff, everything, 13 offensive, defensive ebooks, exclusive tips, pro player analysis breakdowns um, we actually have real nfl cut-ups that we put in there as well trying to explain some of these concepts so if you want to take your game to the next level join the patreon there is a link in the description of this video head on down to the description click that link it'll take you right over to the patreon where you can get signed up you get all of it for 10 bucks literally all of it for just 10 bucks you get everything great deal in my opinion and uh, it, it'll help you it gets super cheap 10 bucks and you get everything it's really a great way to become a better madden player so if you want to join it head on down to the description click the link and uh, sign up for the patreon